not forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for daily updates. Hello friends, welcome to Express Current Affairs. Let us see the important topics covered from today's Hindu newspaper along with the important questions that might appear in coming exams. If you did not yet subscribe to my channel, please do it now so that you do not miss every day's important current affairs. I have provided you the yesterday's video's PDF link in today's description box so people who need it can download it now and read whenever you want in offline mode. So let's start. First question, who is the leader of Jammu and Kashmir's national conference? Mehbooba Mufti, Umar Abdullah, Satyapal Malik or Sitaram Yachuri. Now you need to know all the important political parties of all the states including their important leaders. The answer for this is B. Omar Abdullah. Now Mehbooba Mufti is a leader of People's Democratic Party of Jammu and Kashmir. Satyapal Malik, you need to remember he is the governor of Jammu and Kashmir, very important. Sitaram Yachuri belongs to CPIM. Now recently we all know that Satyapal Malik had dissolved the assembly of Jammu and Kashmir and now the new elections will take place in the state in coming month. The National Conference, the People's Democratic Party and the Congress Party had formed a Grand Alliance versus BJP. Now, Omar Abdullah of National Conference says this alliance is to protect and safeguard special status to Jammu and Kashmir. Now, Article 335A and Article 370 are very important from exam point of view. Please do remember each and every day it is in use. Article 35A empowers the Jammu and Kashmir state's legislature to define permanent residents of the state and it provides special rights and privileges to those permanent residents. Now, many times this Article 35A has been challenged in Supreme Court because it was not added to constitution through the Constitutional Amendment Act and through Article 368 and never has been presented before the parliament. And many women of Kashmir also argued that if they are married, any outsiders, they should lose the ownership rights of the property. And whereas it is a different case, when men marry the outsiders, they still own the property rights. So this is a controversy. This is a flaw in Article 35A and Article 370, which makes Jammu and Kashmir as autonomous state as mentioned in Part 21 of the Constitution. Now this Article 370 restricts union legislation powers only to three areas that is defense, foreign affairs and communications. So remember these two articles very important from exam point of view. India Pakistan Kartarpur corridor will benefit which of the following community? Muslims, Sikhs, Hindus or Jains? The answer is B6. Kartarpur Sahib Gurudwar is in Pakistan. Now to mark the 550th Gurnanak birth anniversary in the year of 2019, India and Pakistan commit to Kartarpur corridor. This corridor helps the Sikh pilgrims to travel visa free from Dera Baba Nanak, Gurdaspur district which is in India to directly move to Kartarpur Sahib corridor which is in Pakistan. This corridor has been first proposed in 1999 when Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee took a bus ride to Lahore. This is a long-standing demand from Sikh community and this completion of the corridor makes easy access across the border where Guru Nanak spent the last 18 years of his life. So earlier we have discussed about Guru Nanak in detail, very important topic. International Meatless Day is observed every year on November 23rd, November 24th November 25th or November 26th? The answer is C. November 25th. Now, International Meatless Day is also known as International Vegetarian Day. Now, you can see in the picture 
the people from beta carrying a placard which says all animals matter try vegan you need to know the full form of peta people for the ethical treatment of animals this is a non profit organization and largest animal rights organization in the world it works on variety of issues like cruel killing of animals birds rodents etc they work on the simple principle that animals are not asked to eat to wear and experiment on or use for entertainment remember the peta headquarters it is in norfolk of virginia united states Now this NGO has been founded in March 1918 Which article of the constitution entitles prisoners to a fair and speedy trial as part of fundamental right Article 25 Article 21 Article 22 or Article 32 The answer is B Article 21 right to life and liberty now what is the meaning of under trial prisoners the unconvicted prisoner that is the one who has been detained in prison during the period of investigation now we all know the judicial system of india it takes many years to pass a single judgment and single case so almost there are 62% under trial prisoners in our country which is against the world average is only about 20% now recently supreme court judges have visited the faridabad jail and observed the living conditions of the under trial prisoners now it is observed that jails did not provide proper sewage system and the toilets were blocked the taps were always leaking there was no whitewash so there was no minimum basic facilities provided to these kind of poor and middle class prisoners who cannot even afford the bail and supreme court also observed that few few influential prisoners are provided with all the facilities like they are provided with tv provided with sofa attached bathrooms etc so supreme court questions the government that are these under trial prisoners not human beings even they have rights the constitution has provided them right to life and liberty under article 21 according to india skills report 2019 which state had topped the list with highest employability telangana mumbai andhra pradesh or kerala the answer is c andhra pradesh it had topped the list with highest employability when it comes to cities category The Bengaluru city had topped the list hiring most number of people. Now this India Skill Report 2019 observes engineers are still the most employable of the lot and MBA courses are losing their shine. It is observed that top states have scored high in emotional intelligence. Now if you're preparing for UPSC emotional intelligence is a separate topic under ethics very important. it is a capability of individuals to recognize their own emotions and those of others it means one person must always be balanced controlling their own emotions many people lack emotional intelligence and now the companies while recruiting people looking out for people who have not only good communication skills but who also have emotional intelligence What is the name of the machine which is used to measure how much air you can breathe in and out? Spirometer, hygrometer, spigmomanometer, or barometer? The answer is A. Spirometer. Spirometer is a machine which is used to measure the air you breathe in and out. Recently, an international journal has been published regarding chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Now this is a lung disease that blocks the air flow and makes it difficult to breathe. It is found 3 times more in women than in men. The poorly ventilated kitchen while cooking increases the particulate matter and thus makes the breathing difficult for women. 
and also while exposure to mosquito coils at night which is equivalent to smoking almost 50 cigarettes. So see that your kitchens are ventilated properly and see that you do not use mosquito coils from now onwards and use other alternatives like all out and motin etc. Who is the Prime Minister of Australia? Malcolm Turnbull, Scott Morrison, Tony Abbott, Peter Dutton. The answer is B. Scott Morrison, the Prime Minister of Australia. Now, recently, President Ramnath Kovind, along with his wife Savita, had visited the Australia. The Prime Minister of Australia, along with the President of India, unveiled the statue of Mahatma Gandhi in Jubilee Park, Parramatta area of Sydney. Now, remember the capital of Australia, many people get confused. The answer is Canberra. The major cities of Australia include Sydney, Brisbane, Melbourne, Perth and Adelaide. Very important, you need to know the important cities of the world. So this is it for today. Do it now, sometimes later becomes never. Now this means do not postpone things. Thinking you'll do it later, start doing now itself. Have a nice day, see you tomorrow. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Mention your views in the comment section and do not forget to download the PDF. Thank you all for watching. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe.